What's going on, everyone? Welcome to Charting Crypto. Today we're going over Liquidity LQTY, which is up 2.9% at $1.83. 100 million max supply with 91 million coins in circulation and $168 million market cap. All time high on this was $146. Two years ago, all time low was five months ago at 54 cents. If you would have bought this on November 14th, 2022, you'd be up 233% on that investment right there. If you're interested in picking this coin up, Available on Gate.io, BingX, Binance, BKX, and Digifinex. So with that, let's get into the price prediction and technical analysis on LQTY. Okay, everybody, let's get into LQTY. This was my last chart that I did on it. It looks like it was uh, April 16th. I said we're going to see a pullback down here. That was the case. And then we broke out of this triangle and we started this free fall. So as of right now, we'll just clear this all up, start fresh. You can see we do have a bottom here, a higher bottom here, and a higher bottom here. So we technically, we can connect these and see if they're symmetrical or... Um, their coincidence so we actually are touching it once twice three times so technically this could be that support that we've been looking for here at one dollar and seventy cents indicators are showing bullish movement on the macd right now so we do have some bullish movement right here working our way up with this engulfing candles we do we were way look how long we were oversold for this is crazy i don't think i've ever seen one oversold for so long pretty much an entire month we were oversold on this coin which means we could be geared up for some big moves to the upside. We got that buy signal here on the WTX on the 25th, and that is working its way up as well. So I wouldn't be surprised if we started working our way back up at least to this main price volume area around $2.14. What we're looking at here is the price volume. You can see once we get over $1.85, the price volume pretty much dies off right here, which means you move through it really, really fast. You can see when we went down through these negative price volume areas, they were very, very quick red candles. Same situation happens when you're working your way up. You get really, really fast green candles. And the great thing about it right now is all your indicators are completely reset. And you guys were down here oversold, just picking up moon juice, storing it for a possible large move. So I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a decent sized move here for LQTY um, next couple of days. So as of right now, if we drop, drop from the top to the bottom, well, first area we need to focus on for resistance is 185. If we get over 185, I don't even think this 382 is going to be at play. I think if we get over $1.85, we're going to be seeing a quick run up to the 0.5 area at around $2. And then same thing there, $2. We have that 618 to get over, and then we could see another move up to the upside. But everything is looking great for a move to the upside right now. All the indicators on the, on the time frame are looking great. Now let's look at the four-hour chart real quick. Four-hour chart, very similar situation. We are overbought here. We just entered overbought on the RSI. First time this has ever been over, oversold. I mean, this first time it's ever been oversold on the Binance calculator. And it is also the second time we ever got a buy signal as well. So this is a really good setup, in my personal opinion, for a decent sized move. Even here on the four hour chart, it looks like there's really no resistance area until we get up to the 0.5 here at around $2. So I wouldn't be surprised if LQTY started working its way back up to that $2 range and then we'd reassess the situation. In the long run, I think the 618 at around $2.16 to $2.20 is going to be the goal. So as long as BTC doesn't absolutely tank, I do think LQTY has found a local bottom here at around 168 and we're going to be starting to work our way back up to around that $2 range. I mean, look at there's hardly any price volume right here or price resistance. So it's going to be rather quick. So all the indicators are looking primed for a move to the upside. I think we're going to be topping out around $2 and then we'll reassess the situation at that time. So keep an eye on uh, possible move up to the 0.5 at $2. So with that, none of this is financial advice. And if there's any coins you'd like me to chart or if you'd just like to chat with me, you can post them on my Discord or on my Twitter. The links are below in the description.